Welcome back. Let's go to the Gulf. The Coast Guard stationed off of Texas has to deal with a lot of border enforcement, of course, but one big issue they have to handle is on illegal fishing. Reporters Anastasia Bolton and Jose Sanchez have more for us tonight. Some days, probably very few days, are just for taking in the sights of very much legal fishing that nature's perfected to an art form. First name's Daniel, last name's Ippolito. Illegal fishing is what Lieutenant Commander Daniel Ippolito is looking for. He's the commanding officer of the U.S. Coast Guard Station in South Padre Island. We do a lot of patrolling offshore for illegal activity, including drug trafficking, illegal immigration, or illegal fishing in our waters. Illegal fishing is a consistent problem in U.S. waters. A lot of the gear that they use to fish is, is highly illegal, would not pass any inspection for a U.S. fisherman to use. It catches a lot of uh, other uh, animals, sea creatures like dolphins, sea turtles, over catches fish. It's just not good for the environment. The U.S. Coast Guard tells us in fiscal year 2021, it seized more than 15,000 pounds of catch along the Texas coast. It also seized 78 boats and detained 208 fishermen. These numbers fluctuate year to year. 2020 was busy. Anytime we see that activity, you know, we're, we're protecting our sovereignty, but we're also protecting the environment. Whatever is confiscated and can be fed to something like turtle, the Coast Guard donates to Sea Turtle Inc., a rehabilitation and conservation nonprofit in South Padre Island, or to the Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville, Coast Guard's newer partner. We're small, but we, uh, we're very involved in our communities. Not every day yields a huge illegal catch. Some days are just about being out on the water. We're always on, on the lookout for for anything illegal happening in our waters. With Jose Sanchez on South Padre Island, I'm Anastasia Bolton.